Welcome to another episode of Practical Advanced C++. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to do software development inside of a container. So when you will start developing some code, usually your code has dependencies on some other code. And depending on the different versions, you might need to install different versions of dependencies, which might get very clumsy and complicated. So what if we put all the dependencies that you need inside of a Docker image, and we do development directly inside of a Docker container. Therefore, you don't need to install anything on the host machine, and you can delete it anytime you want. So what do we need? Obviously, we need Docker, and we need uh, VS Code. So let's get started. Here in my repository, I have created a Docker file Docker file is like a CMake file for your uh, project. Let's see what is inside. So here I'm uh, creating an image. The base is uh, Ubuntu 20 and I am installing all the tools for uh, building and compiling your code like CMake, uh, GCC, uh, GDB and so on. Then I'm installing all the dependencies like GFlag, GLog, GTest, and so on. Okay. Now, if you build this image, if you check out this uh, repository and uh, call the docker build t, and you build this image, this will give you an image that has all the dependencies that you need for compiling this repository. Okay. So after you done this step, you can create a container from this image. And uh, the way I'm doing it, I'm uh, creating some volume that I'm mapping the checkout code that I've just checked out from this repository into the container. For instance, I have checked out my code in this directory, which give me this path. And I'm mapping this directory from the host machine to this directory to the container. Now, if I run this, this will give me a console like this. So here I'm inside of a container. And as you can see, I can see the uh, checkout files here, which is actually this directory on my machine. So this is a directory on the host machine, which has been mapped to a directory inside of a container in this directory. OK. Now we can uh, compile and build our code. But what if we want to do development here? That's a place that we need uh, VS Code. So uh, let's start the VS Code and install all the plugins that we need. So before we go in further, this is a place that uh, VS Code installed its extension. It's home.vscode. Uh, of course, if you're using Mac or Windows, it's a different path. But here I'm using Ubuntu, so it's uh, installed in this directory. And uh, in the home config code, is a place that it's uh, use all these uh, settings. So I'm going to delete everything and I'm going to set up all the extensions and setting that you need to uh, you need for developing your code. All right, let's uh, get started. The first thing that I have to do here, I will delete all the uh, extension and all the settings from uh, VS Code on my machine. So I will uh, launch a new instance of uh, VS Code. OK, uh, after launching it, the first extension that you need to install is called Remote Containers. So this extension will allow you to uh, attach to uh, running containers. So after installing this extension, you will see a new button here.
Okay, I click on that and it will show me the running container. So I uh, right click on that, attach to container, and it will uh, give me a warning that are you sure? And I click on the got it. Okay, it will launch a new instance of uh, VS Code. I uh, close the previous one and I go to extensions. Uh, here I have to install a couple of extensions for uh, this container. So the first one is uh, C++. I will install this one. Uh, there are some other extensions that are optional and I install them like uh, C++ IntelliSense or uh, extension pack. Uh, then I will install uh, CMake and uh, CMake tools. Okay, uh, these two are already installed. Okay, now uh, everything has been installed. I will uh, go for uh, configuring the uh, project. Okay, now I need to configure uh, VS Code. So I go to Explorer and I will click uh, open a folder. Here it's uh, pointing to a directory on the uh, container. So my uh, source code is mapped into a volume called uh, CPP tutorial. I uh, click on that and then I will click on the OK. Now after click on the OK, uh, it will uh, open this directory and it will show me the uh, all the files that I had here. And it will ask me, uh, would you like to configure this uh, project? I click on the yes and again yes. Okay, now as you can see here, there's a new button here, uh, CMake. I click on this and uh, here uh, I can click on the configure and build. So uh, uh, here ask me again, uh, do I need, do, do you want to add this? I click on the yes again and I click on the uh, configure. So uh, click uh, scan for kits. Uh, so I have already installed the uh, GCC. And this machine here at the bottom of the page, you can see that I'm connected to uh, uh, this container. Uh, I click on the GCC and I click on the allow. So now here it will start uh, checking out the code and uh, building everything. All right, the build is over. Now, if I go to the directory that I have checked out my code, you can see there's a build directory and all the binaries that have been generated and written here. Now to run, I just have to go to uh, terminal, go to build directory, and from there I can uh, run any of these uh, executable binaries. I can also debug uh, any of my application and I can easily uh, put a breakpoint. And then I click on the top here on the uh, debug button. Then I can uh, watch my variables or I can step in or step over to any function. Okay, now you might ask, what if I have GUI in my application? Well, in that case, you have to properly configure X server on the Docker container and also on the host. I have explained it in detail in my post in my website. Here, uh, you can have a look uh, at the details that what is happening. But in nutshell, you have to create your container with a uh, this command, as you can see, I'm creating two volume, one for mapping the uh, checkout code and one for uh, uh, X server. So that's how you have to create your uh, container. Then on the host, you have to run these two commands. Okay, let's uh, run it. I have already created my uh, container and it's running. So on the uh, this is my uh, container. And I will install a uh, simple uh, XIs as to have an, uh, um, a GUI-based application on, on, the, on the container. So I will uh, install X. And on the uh, host, I will uh, run these two commands. Okay, now uh, I have installed XIs on the uh, 
container I will uh, I will run the command on the container and as you can see it's been transferred to the host as another example I can uh, run the uh, X clock which is also another uh, application that I'm running on the container and uh, as you can see here if I uh, check the processes it is actually running on the container but it's been uh, transferred to the host so with this uh, two commands uh, you can also develop a GUI application on the container